Good evening, everyone. My name is Eric Haddad, and I'm a user experience engineer at Google on the Firebase team in San Francisco. This looks like a smart crowd, an innovative crowd. Quick show of hands, who here has used Firebase? Nice. That's great. I recognize many of you from the hackathon and the workshops yesterday. You are innovators and developers who want to make powerful applications. Well, I'm here to show you how Firebase and Angular 2 can combine to help you develop, grow, and earn for your next big idea. About two and a half years ago, I attended a conference like this in Salt Lake City, Utah, where, like you, I learned everything I could about AngularJS, and there was a talk by a Firebase team member where I learned a bit about how Angular and Firebase work together to make development fun and effortless. From there, I went back to my job at ESPN Disney and started building quick and powerful prototypes. I hope that this talk inspires you to do something similar. In this talk, I'll walk you through how Angular and Firebase work in harmony to help you focus on the front end challenges and forget the arduous tasks of configuring and maintaining your back end. If you didn't come to this talk, you might go home and start building this infrastructure for your next responsive Angular 2 web app. You'd wrestle with server configs, have to install or update some open source software, hope it's secure, and then you go crazy implementing hard pieces like AuthN, AuthZ, and adding a passport for handling OAuth and fight with signing SSL certificates. In between your VMs going down and constant maintenance updates, by the end of the night, you should be able to log in a user via Google or Facebook. But you still need to store app data, so your server has to talk to your database. You wake up the next morning full of table schemas and immediately start creating. Your afternoon and evening are spent making schema changes and migrating data. And days later, you're ready to create your shiny new Angular 2 app. But how reliable is your server's uptime and what about performance and scalability? But you're lucky you came to this talk. So you'll learn the secrets to creating the powerful apps and handle all these problems and more. Firebase apps aren't traditional apps. Firebase eliminates the application server unless devices talk directly to powerful managed services. We handle client-side auth and auth-z, so no need to implement your own OAuth integrations or build middlewares. And Firebase scales automatically so the app you build for Monday can go into production on Friday. Our smart clients handle all the hard pieces so you can focus on building your app that users love. We provided several core features that allow you to do this. A real-time database that stores and syncs JSON data in milliseconds, coupled with a serverless authentication system that handles complex social auth flows and session management with ease, and a highly scalable file storage solution that lets you update petabytes of user-generated content. But listen to me, talk isn't going to help you demo one Monday morning. So here. I'm going to demonstrate how to build a secure cloud-hosted JSON database and populate it using Angular Fire 2. Angular already comes with two-way binding, but when you add Angular Fire 2 to your project, you get powerful three-way data binding, so your template values are representative of the data script data values, um, which are bound to Firebase database all in real time. Today, I'm also going to show you how to build personalized experiences for your users. Angular Fire. Two does the heavy lifting of authenticating users and integrates nicely with Angular 2's router to keep your website safe. Now you have several op options for sign-in methods, but today I'll demonstrate using Google Provider. No matter if your users use Facebook, GitHub, or email and passwords, we always create a single user record uh, with a unique ID across all accounts, like what you see at the bottom of this slide. Lastly, I'll demo how to store and secure assets in Firebase storage, which is powered by the massively scalable Google Cloud storage behind the scenes. Angular Fire 2 will soon fully support Firebase storage, and I've provided some workarounds in my demo code. We'll help you with the user access. By default, we'll check if your users are logged in with authentication, but you can configure who can read and write uh, which files and folders using powerful rules. We'll also handle network failures and continue uploads when you get connected. And to make sure your files get to Firebase storage so you can share content across your apps. Now, there's a whole suite of things that I mentioned, uh, in addition to what I mentioned, uh, including AdWords, analytics, app indexing, test lab, notifications, deep linking, invites, hosting, crash reporting, <laughs> remote config, and more. Whew. All right, so now that I've identified all the underlying infrastructure, 
gave my sales pitch for Firebase. Uh, here are things that'll make life a lot easier. And let's talk about that library. As you heard about in Rob's talk this morning, observables are super powerful. Angular Fire is observable based and has real-time bindings to synchronize your objects or lists, all while providing security. All right, so let's demo an app. All right, so I built this quick and dirty app in the last week. Um, I only just learned Angular 2 a couple weeks ago, so um, I'm right there with you with all the growing pains. Uh, and here is a demonstration of the sign-in uh, pattern. So I'm going to click here. It's going to open up a pop-up. Please don't spam me. Uh, select my Gmail account, and boom, I'm in. So these are all um, entries in the real-time database. The text is from the database, and there are references to these image assets, and it's sourced from uh, storage. Now, uh, this is all well and good. The read-write rules say, or the read rules are public, but here's the powerful part. Here's the personal. So I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, I have two little dogs at home, and uh, I'm going to keep a record of when my little girl turns 10 years old. And I'm going to select a file from here, open, and hit create. Now, what ju just happened, it inserted that row or that entry into the database. It uploaded that file to storage and uh, made sure that I was authorized to view it. Um, now I have a, another one. His name is Pickles. And oops, do some math equation up here. Okay, and create. So, like I said, happens all in milliseconds, and Angular Fire 2 handles the transport, the authentic authentication, and it updates my view in real time. So, that's all well and good. Let's get down to how that looks in the database. So here, here's my authentication. It went through. I can uh, maintain all my sign-in methods through here. Uh, OAuth and the like. Um, and here is the data as it exists in the database. So here are the public rows, as you can see there. And then here's my own. There's another user who's down there already. Um, and there it is. So it's that simple. And then uh, the rules here, I've set public events to be read only, unless it's me. And then the users can do what they want as long as they're authenticated. So, and you have all kinds of analytical data there to help you along the way. So what does the storage look like? So public, here are all public assets that can be accessed by anyone. And here are my two pugs. Oop, nope, that's someone else's. <laughs> All right, there's my little boy, my little girl. Cool, so uh, I'll get to that next. So here, here's all it takes for your web app, these, these values right here. And I'll switch to code view. So this is all it takes to get Angular Fire up and running. You take those data values that I just showed you um, in the pop-up, and you initialize your app using those values. From there, you're importing it into your module. And from there, uh, like I said, Angular 2 has um, can activate, which is a safeguard for um, people accessing your website. Make sure that they're authenticated. They have the rights to see and manipulate it. So there's my routing. And then this is all it takes for the events. Um, 
an observable and it's populated by a service here and that's how it all gets updated real time. And then some simple templating uh, using Angular Material 2 here um, for the tabs and then I have some custom components underneath. We'll step through and here's the Firebase list observable um, and that's passing that down to child components right here asynchronously loading and traversing and then for each card uh, they are two-way bound on there and then each card simply looks like this so pretty simple so far then the form uh, like I said angular fire 2 will soon fully support the storage uh, it's coming soon but here's a workaround um, and there's a little bit involved but uh, all gets tracked and uploaded and uh, the custom user event is generated. And that's just what the, the form template looks like. So with all that, there's also the, the hosting aspect. So you, you can specify your own custom domain. Uh, we provide you with the records to um, bootstrap your, your domain. You can import it, set it up, um, and uh, all your DNS records, your SSL certificates are taken care of for you. Um, and using the Firebase CLI, uh, it can take whatever uh, your ng build uh, from the Angular CLI, take that disk folder, and then upload it using the Firebase deploy CLI uh, command, and it'll get pushed out. And so I purchased a uh, custom domain for today. And you can see it was already listening and had the, the events added real time. And uh, you'll be able to access this and play around with it yourself. Um, and with the Angular material, it's all nicely responsive. And yeah. So. I feel like I went too fast. <laughs> um, all right, I'll try to get the slides back up. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Actually, I do a prison review. All right, so what we've seen here, Firebase Auth, database hosting and storage make de development easy, secure, and scalable. Angular Fire sits atop Angular 2 and uses RxJS to make interfaces real-time and responsive. Observables are your friend. Focus on innovation and concepts while Firebase takes care of the arduous necessities of engineering a new backend that scales with company and user growth and the ability to easily monetize, test, and analyze your app. Uh, deep link content, so it's uh, searchable and indexable uh, by Google and the like. Uh, and reach relevant users through notifications. Uh, last week we introduced web push notifications, so I encourage you to play with that. Oh. There we go. And you'll be able to easily, thank you, uh, easily scale with the power of Google Cloud. So I just want to give quick shout outs. Uh, like I said, I was learning Angular 2, um, and uh, Angular Fire 2 is still very much in development. Um, I had the help of some other Git repos, uh, so I borrowed some code there. The uh, general events that you saw in that first tab uh, uh, were borrowed from days.2 and like you I am a constant stack flow addict and thank you there is the demo URL if you'd like to play with it and you can download and install the code from my github repo thank you